students in this session we will just take a rewind to how we defined the principal branch of logarithm as well as the principal branch of the function set to the power b where b is n complex number so in order to define the principal branch of log z we consider the slitted complex plane denoted it as g and this g is nothing but the set of all complex numbers excluding the negative real axis and also obviously it is uh, it is excluding the origin zero is not in this slitted complex plane and we noted that it is an open as well as connected set this g and then we defined a function f from g to the set of complex numbers such that f of z is equal to f of r e raised to i theta where z is written in the polar coordinate form r is nothing but the modulus of z theta is nothing but the argument of z and in this domain g we noted that in the slitted complex plane theta can only lie in in between minus pi and pi and note that this function we defined it to be the real logarithm of r plus i into theta we can define the real logarithm here because we know that this r is always a strictly positive real number it cannot r cannot be zero because we are excluding zero from the domain r will be always positive because it's it is the modulus of mod z uh, modulus of z okay so it is a well defined function and this function has further properties which we proved the first property is that it is continuous on the domain g and also that we proved it satisfies the equality e raised to f of z is equal to z for every z belongs to g note that we proved both these properties of f and from that we concluded that the defined function f above is a branch of log z it satisfies the definition of branch of logarithm of z and we defined this function f to be the principal branch of the logarithmic function so that, that's how we defined the principal branch of logarithm and we have to note something else whenever we associate logarithmic function or log z to some function some single value function automatically we are choosing the principal branch because we have to maintain the single value nature of a function note that when we defined log z in the earlier sessions it was definitely a multiple valued function and usually a function is single value in order to maintain that we associate in such a scene logarithmic function to the principal branch of the logarithm so that's the important part of this principal branch of the logarithm and using proposition 2.20 which we proved early in the earlier session we reached an inference which is the corollary 2.21 we proved it and the corollary 2.21 says that every branch of logarithmic function is analytic and it has the derivative 1 by z we proved it too and then we reach the remarks and the remark will help us to understand why we define the principal branch of the function set power b in that first we assume that f is a branch of logarithmic function log of z on an open connected set g we are not persisting or uh, saying anything about g we are just saying that it is open and connected okay since f is a branch of log z by definition by its definition we know that f is obviously a function from g to c which is continuous as well as it is satisfying the equality e raised to f of z is equal to z for every z belongs to g okay no 
Now we are going to fix a B in the set of complex numbers. Let it be an arbitrary complex number. Okay. Now we are going to define a new function g, small g, from the same open connected set g to the set of complex numbers c such that g of z is equal to the exponential function power b into f of z for every set belongs to g. Okay. Now we are thinking about two cases when we are defining such a function g. This b can be an integer, a real integer, right? And it cannot, it can be, uh, it, it may not be an integer, right? So we are dividing it into two cases. So in the first case, g of z, we define the function to be e power b into f of z, right? Suppose in the first case, we are assuming b is an integer. So that means this f of z is added b times, right, in the power, e power f of z plus f of z plus etc plus f of z, b times, right, and by the property of the exponential function, whenever e raised to a plus b is coming, we, we know that that is equal to e raised to a into e raised to b whenever a and b are complex numbers, we proved it. So this can be written as by induction, we can say this is equal to e power f of z into e power f of z into e power f of z etc into e power f of z how many times b times right so that can be written notated as e power f of z the whole raised to b right and e power f of z we know that since f is the branch of logarithmic function we know that this is nothing but z right so we are obtaining this is equal to z raised to b for every z belongs to g so, if we are defining such a function g, we are getting that g of z is equal to e power b into f of z, we defined it so, that is equal to z raised to b for every z belongs to g. We are obtaining this when b is an integer. Now, we are planning to get the same conclusion when b is not an integer. Okay, that is when we will have to define the principal branch of z raised to b. Don't bother about it. We will just come to know about in the case 2. So we have to end up with the same conclusion as that of case 1. Okay. So we are assuming b is not an integer. Let b be any complex number. Okay. Suppose we are writing, simply writing this function g of z is equal to z raised to b. Suppose it is so. It is a function. So definitely, since it is a function, it is single value. That means for every element z in the domain g, g of z, g of z should be unique, right? So already g of z was defined as e raised to e power b into f of z. So since g of z is a function, we have to equate e power b, b into f of z equal to z raised to b for every z belongs to g. Okay, this happens because g is a function. Okay, now we earlier said that whenever our logarithmic function is being associated with a function, a single value function, we automatically should choose the principal logarithm or the principal branch of the logarithm, right? So this f was, this f was a branch of logarithmic function. So since this equality is being associated with a function, the branch of a function, branch of the logarithmic function will automatically become the principal branch of the logarithm. Okay. So uh, that is what we obtain. Okay. And in the corollary we just mentioned before, we know that every branch of logarithmic function is analytic. So, here this f is also analytic, right? f being branch, uh, the principal branch of logarithm, it is analytic. And that into a constant complex number will be also analytic. And e power analytic function will be analytic, internal analytic. 
these are all simple results which we can verify so what we obtained is g of z if we equate it to be it to z raised to b we obtain g of z is equal to e power b into f of z which is equal to z raised to b is analytic okay now we obtained this much and note that this f is nothing but if we have to equate it like this we have to know that this f is nothing but the principal branch of the logarithm so that is how we have a motivation to define the principal branch of the function z raised to b okay let's see how it is defined it's just concluding what we just saw before let g be a function from capital g to c such that g of z is equal to z raised to b we saw it before such that e power b into f of z is equal to z raised to b for every z belongs to g we saw it before here g of z will in turn be analytic that also we saw it before where f is the principal branch of log of z right and that will automatically imply that g is the slitted complex plane because we are associating it with f right okay and this function g is called the principal branch of the function z raised to b we define it so so first of all what do we need we need the slitted complex plane g which is equal to the set of complex numbers minus excluding the negative real axis also excluding zero right and we are defining the function g from this slitted complex plane g to c such that g of z is equal to z raised to b satisfying the equality e raised to b power f of z uh, e, e raised to e power b into f of z is equal to z raised to b for every z belongs to g okay and uh, here f is the principal branch of log z then the function g is called the principal branch of the function z raised to b so it is just a concluding part of what we discussed before okay so in case 2 also we obtain g of z is equal to e power b into f of z is equal to z raised to b for every z belongs to g assuming that f is the principal branch of log z and g is the slitted complex plane that is the remark we stated at the end so that's all for this session and thank you